What up everybody, Speeds and Tricks here, coming at you with a little how-to today. Um, this is going to be how to do polyurethane mounts for Alright, so this is what I'm going to be using for today. It's going to be a flathead, a hammer, a rubber mallet, a pry bar, and a blowtorch. And then I'm going to be doing the torque mounts on my car, which is going to be just the front and the rear, or the front and the rear. And then, yeah. But first, we got to burn out the old bushings and this and try to keep the, the dowel pin or the pin and um, this one we're going to take out the outer the sleeve and that's in the inside so we can have a full nice smooth surface on the inside so it will just sit flush with it so what I did with um to, to ensure that the pin is in the right place I just put on a piece of cardboard and I took a rubber mallet and I smacked it and where the indentation was made I made a little circle and then I drew around it so I know it will be in that spot and then I did the same for, for the rear one so now I'm just going to burn the old ones out and I'll let you know when that's over Another thing I want to mention is you want to do this in a well ventilated area so you don't breathe in any of the old rubber that's being burnt off. Alright guys, so I was trying to bang out that rear torque mount, but um, I, I couldn't get it out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to get a 3 pound hammer and use that instead of the regular hammer I was using. Um, I'll see you when I, when I get one. Alright, I have the two mounts right here. And I got the inner race out of this one. I I had to use a little saw or a, a grinding wheel to make a kind of like a triangle. And then I hit it with an air hammer. But if you don't have an air hammer, you can hit it with like a flathead or a chisel with a hammer or a mallet. And it'll come out the same way. It'll just take a little more time. And I got both of them on the inside cleaned up. I cleaned up with a wire wheel and then I took a wire wheel to, to the two pins as well to make sure like the polyurethane bonds to them well. And then I'm going to be using the, the Bioflex 60 compound and yeah I got this off of the site I'll put it in the description below and yeah let's see how that goes all right so now I'm going to pour part part A and part B into this cup I'm going to weigh it out I'm going to do four ounces of each one and I'm going to stir it up mix it up real good um, you want to stir both of them before you put them and um, yeah, I have the cardboard. Let me take this off and show you guys. I have the boards with the pins inside, and I on the bottom I tape them so no fluid would leak out of them on both of them. And I have them elevated so where they're nice and flat. So when you when I pour the mixture in, 
in theory it should be nice and flat all the way through on top and bottom kind of like a funnel with the cup so I could get a nice stream going started leaking as you can see so now time to revisit this I'm going to work on a version 2 for this one and you'll see it when it's all poured and ready to go okay seeing how that one leaked I'm going to put version 2 and put super glue on the outer layer of the mount and then put that onto the cardboard so none of it leaks through. I'm going to do that right now. All right, everybody, I, the mounts have been sitting overnight and they're pretty rock solid, rock solid. The only thing is that this one was leaking a bit. So I just pour some more of the mixture to fill up to the top. So I'm going to let that dry for a day. And this one, I'm going to let it cure for a little more. And yeah, 